Hey guys, Shuon701 here, and today I have something pretty cool and pretty adorable to show you guys. Uh, so what I have to show you guys today is essentially an MC Edit filter that allows you to do these, allows you to make, sorry, these adorable little miniature structures of actual real life structures in Minecraft. That made sense. <laughs> anyway. These are a 3 to 16 model, so just under a quarter of the size. Um, pretty adorably small. And uh, this is just a replica of this tree right here. You'll notice, uh, you will notice that it doesn't work as well with non-solid blocks, such as grass. Um, uh, and that's because of the way it works. Essentially what it is, is small armor stands that are holding a block, and they have a very particular rotation to their right arm that makes the block seem parallel to the normal world kind of like this uh, it is slightly slightly offset from an actual block that's the closest you can get it uh, to be uh, like, you, like you can see there's a little lip here to the blo to the miniature block um, hopefully you understand what I'm talking about anyway yeah it's it's not too big of a deal it's it's still pretty damn awesome uh, you can walk through this, so bear that in mind. And if you if you don't want people to be able to walk through this, then you might want to put some barrier blocks around it. Um, but I don't really care. I think it's pretty awesome as is. Uh, so what I'm going to do is get rid of it just with a quick kill command here and then spawn it back in again, just like that. It's instant, it's simple, it's easy. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, make another little structure See you guys in MC Edit and show you how to use the filter. All right, so here we are in MC Edit. This is our world from before. And I am going to create a little model of this little shore over here. Yeah, this little peninsula. Good. Okay, so I, so I just selected the whole thing. And uh, what I'm going to do, let's actually get... Ah, oh, whatever. Let's leave it like that. So, so I've just selected the whole thing, and let's actually select the sugar cane so we see together what that what happens with that. It's probably not going to look good, but let's see. Um, so anyway, I'm going to go ahead and hit filter, and uh, just ignore some casual filters I have here, and I'm going to select mini structures. Um, and the GUI is pretty self-explanatory. You select the source block that you want to spawn in the structure. Uh, the mini structure that is. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna spawn it over this water here, and um, the way what what you want to do basically is say I want to spawn it right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold down Alt so I can see the coordinates of the block I'm selecting, and uh, I'm gonna try and figure out the block with the smallest coordinates. So that would be this corner, I believe. It's going up in this direction and up in this direction. Yeah, okay, so this, so in this direction and in this direction, it's going down. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this block. Um, let's do 100. Okay, so negative one, negative 235, negative 175, and we're gonna take it up a few blocks in the air. So negative 265, negative 175, I believe that was. And the Y, let's do 65. Just make sure that that was the right, no, it was 235. All right, so once we have those put in right there, so now we're gonna hit filter, and this is gonna take a couple seconds depending on the size of your structure, and then it's gonna open a little uh, Windows style GUI that I'm pretty sure you guys can't see. Uh, but basically, it's just to select the name of the schematic file that you're going to save. So I'm just going to type in structure.schematic. Yes, I do want to replace the previous structure.schematic. Uh, now I can deselect the original structure and hit import. Import the same thing. Again, you can't see that probably. And now we have two sheets of command blocks. Um, I'm going to import that to right over here above everything make sure it doesn't it's not interfering with anything good I'm gonna go ahead and hit import and save and I will see you guys back in Minecraft
back in Minecraft, and there's our huge double sheet of command blocks. I'm just gonna get rid of this tree real quick. Um, now what you wanna do, the final step to this process, is go to one corner, to the far corner probably, and place down a block in between the two sheets. Bring up your F3 and type in the coordinates at the looking at while you're looking at the block. So I'm gonna go ahead and type those in right now. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and uh, fly off, fly over to the other side and put a block again in the opposite corner. You have to do two opposite corners, doesn't matter which opposite corners. Uh, bring up F3 again, paste in the coordinates from before and then type in the coordinates that uh, looking at this block and copy the whole thing. Then what you wanna do after that is just place a command block somewhere around this. You can even place it on the on this on the side if you want but basically just place a command block uh, that will touch the redstone blocks that that will be in the sheet in the middle here and type in fill the coordinates with air and uh, then go over to wherever you want your activation to be place down a command block and again type fill those coordinates and redstone block awesome so put a button on it or I prefer using a redstone block and I'm gonna put another command block right here that's just gonna get rid of the redstone block once it's placed. So, let's go ahead and check this out. It's probably gonna be a little laggy because it's, uh, I would estimate about, I don't know, 1500 blocks or so. That's a lot of entities right there. So, uh, let's take a look. Okay, it spawned in. That took only about a couple seconds. Um, and we are down to 15 FPS and um, it didn't turn out too well uh, these are all the tall grass all this uh, all this unknown texture stuff this is all the tall grass like the double double block tall grass that's over there um, and the sugar canes <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty happy with that actually it's pretty funny um, but the rest of the terrain turned out half decent not too too bad um, I'm pretty sure this can handle water and lava just fine uh, should actually test that probably but I think it can um, but yeah basically the lesson here is when you, if and when you do this only use sol or, or try to only use solid blocks and uh, make small structures like up to a hundred two hundred blocks um, per structure so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed I will uh, actually right before we leave let's just get rid of that and uh, mention again how we get rid of that using this little kill command so that's kill at E type equals armor stand which kills off all the armor stands which are all of the blocks yeah so that's about it I'm gonna spawn back the back in the tree and uh, stand next to it here for comparison so let's just uh, Awesome. <laughs> yeah, guys. So I hope you enjoyed. I will see you all next time. Until then, take care. Shh, I'm hiding. Bye bye.